Uncle Ron and stuff. This is a quick one about electronic funds transfer, i.e. bill pays or any other electronic funds transfer like SNAP benefits or I don't know, Medicare, Medicaid, I don't know, all kinds of different things where money is automatically deposited into your account or you pay someone through your bank's bill pay application or other. And I had a recent incident where I had sent money to an insurance company and uh, I never saw it credited at the insurance company. I don't know where it went. So I called them. They didn't have any record of it. They didn't know anything about it. Okay. I talked to my bank. They claimed they had sent it. Insurance company never got it. Okay, on and on and on and on and on and on and on. Multiple phone calls and multiple documents and where is it? Why didn't I finally got USAA to say, oh yeah, we did get the money, but we have no way of holding it because you don't have a bill, so we returned it back to where we got it from. Okay. So I at least knew that. So I talked to my bank and they said, well, we don't know anything. Anyway, the point being is that if you have a missing electronics funds transfer, in the end, it's the receiver who has to do the research and find it. Whatever was sent from USAA to Wells Fargo, Wells Fargo is the one that has to track it down. And it helps if you have the transaction number or reference number or a, uh, a um, verification number on the transaction. The tra each and every electronic funds transaction has a unique number associated with it. If you, you, you need to try to find that number. Wherever, when, whoever sent it, there was an electronic transfer verification number. That number then allows for tracing and so on. You have to try to get to that number somehow, which usually means digging into the bowels of a big organization who doesn't understand anything about electronic fund transfer. The important thing I'm trying to tell you here is it is the receiver of the funds that you have to get to find the funds, not the sender. The receiver has to do that. And it took me eight weeks to get my receiver, Wells Fargo, to find the funds that were sent them by USAA. And it had been sent on the day they said, with the reference number they had. Still, it took that long for Wells Fargo to finally, I moved it up in the management, up and up, and up, 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 slowly but surely, to got to the right people. And you got to get to the right people or lower level people don't know anything about electronic funds transfer. And let me put one more aspect into this. Um, institutions, uh, insurance company, the bank, and all this, they use a middleman. There's companies that exist which basically all money is routed through. And the deal is these companies maintain <coughs> the routing numbers, if you will, <coughs> for bank accounts. Each institution has a routing number. Uh, Wells Fargo has a routing number. Anything you can think of, Target, I don't care. They all have routing numbers, okay? This middleman then, when funds are transmitted, they're transmitted from Wells Fargo to this middleman. This middleman then says, oh, it's going to USAA, and then he pushes it on down the line to USAA, okay? So there is a middleman. USAA wants to send me money. They use the same service that they got it from. What? And there are multiple of these middleman uh, electronic accounts um, uh, coordinating entities. And depending on Wells Fargo used a particular one, they sent the money down to USAA. USA turned around and sent it back to that same middleman to get to Wells Fargo. So there's a middleman involved who matches up uh, routing numbers and accounts and all that sort of thing. 
and hopefully it, it works 99.9% .9 of the time. But when it doesn't work, you got you got a headache on your hands, and you have to go to the receiver if you're expecting it in your bank account and it doesn't show up. You got to talk to your bank, and you have to under, make them understand what the problem is. The money's disappeared somewhere between the sender and your account and it's usually in the middleman area someplace. Uh, I've read accounts where Wells Fargo had a problem for like a month where they were not receiving uh, money that had been sent to them. Anyway, electronic funds transfer. Uh, you use it somehow or another. You, you pay. Oh, that was a weird one. If you use electronic bill pay, then that's how it's handled. Out of the bank to a middleman to the final destination. That's all it for today. Today is the 26th, uh, 20, yeah, 28th, 28th of December 2023. And again, it took me eight weeks to find the missing money that was sent from USAA back to Wells Fargo. But they did accomplish them. Uh, I pulled, pulled all my hair out, sent multiple documents, documented, document everything. If you've got a problem like this, Write everything down, every conversation, print out every email, keep it all, because you may need it, and you may ask for it. Anyway, Uncle Ron has stuff this electronic funds transfer, and I hope you never have to watch this video.